job done. Going up to Portree and then going up the, the east coast and then back through like well, up and round the coast and then back down from Yug. Yug? I don't know how you say it right, Yug. Um, back down from Yug, down Portree again and then just back the way we came. Uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be good. Hopefully, the weather stays dry like it is the now and we can actually see stuff. That'd be amazing. Um, but yeah man, let's uh, let's get in it. See this road as well man, like, so the place that we're staying in is like, I don't know how you say it, Ting? Tengu? I don't know. If you spell like Kung but instead of the O-U, put an E-A, that's how you spell it, right? Um, the roads down to here, and like from here up to um, Rodford? Absolutely insane, man. Like, you see the straights you get? This is the first day that I've been on this road and you can actually see in front of you, or you can see in front of you, but you can actually see the mountains and stuff. Like, either side is absolutely insane. The road, the road itself, it's just like the wind, like, it just winds and it's, you get the straights. Oh, man, it's just absolutely insane. Like, I can just imagine this, like, in the summer, hot weather, like, clear day, it's just insane, man. But the only, the only, like, downside, if you've done this in the summer, would, obviously, like, the now, so this is January just now, right, or when I'm recording this is January, it's late January, so technically it's not, it's, like, off-season, if you want to call it that. Um, see, i never seen... We've never seen these mountains before on this road. That is insane, man. What? <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is obviously technically off season, right? So if you were to come here in the summer or the spring, these roads would be very busy to be packed. Like. Like, see, as of now, when I think the roads are busy, when I mean busy, like a couple of cars behind us, or a couple of cars in front of us, that would be very, very quiet in the summer, because this, I've heard that this, this island is just absolutely heathen in the summer. I mean, rightly so, you know what I mean? Uh, bro, this is insane. We've genuinely, so we stayed here from Monday, so it's now Thursday. We're home tomorrow. Um, stayed here obviously every day but we've never seen the locks and all that like this this is just insane man <laughs> insane should we actually 
actually went here for dinner last night. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it like Dailene Armin? I don't know. We'll get the spelling up on the screen. Um, we went for dinner, like a really nice hotel. It was dog friendly as well, which is good. Um, and it was like right on, on the loch. We've never seen this loch. Um, so this is the first time I've actually ever seen it. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool to see. Oh my god, what a photo that would be. <laughs> That's just insane, man. And there's also, on the road that we're going up to Portree, there is um, a Highland Coup viewpoint. So I'll be definitely stopping there for a wee visit <laughs> on this video. <laughs> so you've got that to look forward to. Uh, but yeah man. Um, let's, uh, let's get it. So we've just fueled up and this is a view from Broadford. We've never seen that mountain, ever. <laughs> That's huge man. I was thinking about climbing one of the Monroe's, but just the weather and, you know, just wasn't, didn't want to do it. Uh, bro, this is nuts. I think if, if it stays like this, this will be the best drive ever recorded on this channel. Yo, this is nuts, man. The size of that thing as well. It's huge. Bro, can you imagine this? And look at that cotton boy. This is insane. Yo, this is just so much better because like... Because there's no one on the road. It means you can just like stretch your legs, you know what I mean? It means you can... This is nuts, bro. Yo, the mountains. We've never seen them, ever. Yo, they're huge. What? That is insane. I mean, the road, the road's insane as well, right? But the, the mountains. So, on this, on this island as well, right? One of the Monroe's. It's the only Monroe that you have to like to mountain climb, like rope climb up um, to get to the summit. Um, that is obviously a good thing to know because can you imagine like you didn't know that right and you climbed the Monroe and you were thinking oh I'm going to get all the 282 Monroes and you got to top it and you couldn't even, you couldn't even like bag it because you, you didn't have the stuff to, to climb it. <laughs> That would be that would be pretty bad to be to be fair. Um, yo, this is actually insane. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say the mountains in front of us now are the Cullens. I'm just gonna take a wild guess. Quite honestly, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Because we've never, I mean, we've seen them, we've seen them, right? But we've only seen like the base of them because of how cloudy it's been, like the whole week. Um, and obviously we went to Dunvegan Castle yesterday and on the way back, so I was driving on the way back, it was absolutely, it was bouncing the whole day, right? But it was absolutely teeming the way back. Um, and the waterfall was ev every single waterfall we seen was just full spate. And there's this one down here at the, on the kind of on the bend of the road. Yo, look at this road, man! Look at this road. What do you mean? This is nuts. This is actually crazy. Um, but yeah, the, the, like all, every waterfall was just full spate, and it was absolutely insane. This is insane, man. Absolutely insane. I mean, I've, I've got no words. 
saat Like I thought the drive The drive up through like Glengarry and all that was good This man like But the, the thing about The thing about this, this island right So this is a motorway If you want to call it a motorway right It's the main road, city road The main road in the sky Like In the main road takes you through all of this scenery, usually back home, right? Um, you would have to go on like the B roads and the A like, like the sort of the minor roads to get all this scenery. Whereas, not here man, every road is just complete scenery everywhere. Absolutely nuts, man. So, we've just stopped and got some pits for the gram. Um, and we've started to go and it's starting to rain hopefully hopefully it rains and then it goes away um i think i think like on according to bbc poor trees might be raining pretty much all day until one o'clock it is 12 o'clock so the time we get there might actually be about one ish um Hopefully it might be a little bit dry, I don't know though, I, I don't know, that's obviously the weather and it can change in a matter of minutes and minutes over here, you know what I mean? Uh, but yesterday, the wind was horrendous, like, at this point here, we were getting absolutely battered and then we came into this little kind of wall and it was fine, because we were getting sheltered, but as soon as we got out here, it just battered us again. Um, yeah man, it's absolutely nuts to actually see things now. Maybe I can actually see the mountains and stuff. That is pretty cool. It's pretty rainy. Um, but on the bright side it does look a little bit brighter the more the further north we go. So hopefully it kind of clears up. Like this road. Insane, man. Insane. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. See, all, like, even though it's raining here, it has super bright blue skies in front of us. As you can see. See, I don't mind the rain as long as I can see things. Like, don't get me wrong, it is absolutely, let's like, see last night, or yesterday when we were coming back. Like, it was insane to actually see. Like, just like, severe weather, you know what I mean, it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, there's a queue there! Oh, I should have stopped there, hold on. Hold on, I'll be back. This is nuts, man. Yo, look at him. So, I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, I'll, so I'll find out and edit if you guys can see this, but right now, right, I can see the man's store. 
I'll try and point it out if um, if I can, if it's if it's visible um, for you guys. But it looks insane, man. Like, so you can't you can't see the top of the actual mountain, but you can just see stars sticking out the side. Yo, this is nuts. <laughs> I watched like so many YouTube videos, so many like I've seen so many photos. And I've always wanted to do it in person. And now today's the day, man. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> and the yeah, man is busting out though. That's that's the that's the job at hand. So that's us making our approach to the poor tree just now. Um, so the plan is to go through Port Tree and then up the east side of the, the island. Um, hopefully the rain stays off enough for us to get up the star. Um, hopefully. Um, and then we're just going to keep going up the east coast and then down down the sort of the center island, doing back to Yug. Um and obviously if Yug is the sort of the harbour where you would, or the port where you would get the boat or the ferry from there to like Lewis and Harris and all that. Um, which I will also be visiting at some point in my life. Like I have to man. Like if you don't know what I'm talking about or why I want to do that, bro, just Google it. Just Google Harris Beaches or Lewis Beaches. You'll you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Like it's like it, it, it's literally like it's like Caribbean. It looks like Caribbean. Like it's just insane, man. Honestly. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go through Portree and up towards the uh, store, etc. Yeah, man. We're kind of everywhere in front of us is bright, but everywhere behind us is dark. The rain is kind of behind us, which I guess is good for now. Um, but uh, yeah, want to be quick. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Yo, what's going on? Um, so this is gonna be the outro for part three. Just want to mention like how long it's obviously been from the last upload um if you didn't know starting a new job um so essentially full time now which is which is a lot to get used to um from monday to friday which is good it's something i've worked in never worked a monday to friday job um it's always been shifts and they tell me when to work and so on so in that sense like content wise it's a lot better because you get I get to like plan what I want to do on this weekend because I know I'm going to be off that weekend, right? At least for the kind of first year, it will be that. Um, I think they said from kind of year two onwards they might ask you in for like the odd Saturday morning, but it's the odd Saturday morning, right? You finish up till o'clock and you're up the road. Um, so yeah, but trying to adapt to the new working pattern as well, at like times, working hours. Um, I mean, if you didn't know, I, for the past two and a half years, three years, I've been working in a hotel. And I was doing back shifts, so starting at like 5pm and working until 11, or 10 or 11, you know. So I had that sort of, <laughs> had a long lie. Um, I was working late, but I had a long lie, you know. Wake up at like 10, 11, 12 some days. Um, and that was just my routine, or I say a routine, it wasn't much of a routine because like you couldn't really do anything before work. Like see you switch it around, right, see the job I've got an hour, I finish it at 4 or 5 o'clock. I can then go out after that, I don't have a time limit, I can just go out to whatever I need to come back. Whereas, to do a back shift, you start at 5, you can really go far because you need to be back for a certain thing. Um, so the social side of things wasn't good man, like a bit rough. Um, but we're moving on. Bigger, better things. We're essentially full time. 
Um, getting used to the kind of full days. So leaving at like half seven in the morning to get into work for eight o'clock, ten past eight. Um, rush hour traffic, all that. Enjoying stuff. Um, Air Friday, which is Friday, which is good. Um, content wise, uh, this weekend or say this weekend. Um, the weekend this video comes out, so this will probably come out Saturday, I think. Saturday or Sunday, I don't know, I'll, I'll work out. But I've um, got plans for content this weekend, hopefully two days of content. Um, it might be kind of short or highlight videos, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, obviously still got part four of the Sky Trip to come out as well. Um, gonna be busy man, yeah. Um, I've actually just worked out a sort of rota for myself if you want to call it that. So on a Monday, Monday will be editing day. Um, so I have a set day so when I finish work I'll just do editing that night. Um, unless any any drastic differences but um, yeah man I just finished editing part three which is insane man. Looking back getting the flashbacks and all that like the video doesn't do it justice. If you know, if you know like if you've been there you know what I mean. I mean, yeah, it's cool watching for a screen, but it's so much better in person. Like, 100 times better. Um, part 4, I mean, from what I remember, it's absolutely incredible. Um, but yeah, man, so I'll give you a little rundown what's going on, what to expect. Um, got a lot of content planned for the next coming weeks, so we should be good. Um, brighter nights, nicer days. Mountain season is upon us, um, and obviously because I don't have off weekends, I can plan this weekend and do them in a row. It's, you know, it's good man. Looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. Really appreciate it. And um, basically just spreads the video out. You know, and from Facebook, right and that stuff. Drop a share. It means a lot. Um, part two didn't really do as well as I was hoping it to, um, but you know what happens. Perhaps. Um But yeah man, hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. See you in a bit.